The first thing you need to do is open Flash. And it's going to give you this little startup screen. And you can see we've got our past files here. But we're going to start a new one. You're going to go create new flash file action script 3.0. And you can see that we have one layer up at the top with nothing in it. That's so that uh, keyframe there is a white keyframe with a white circle in it. And here's our stage. And we want to set the stage to be the same size as a standard video screen. Uh, we're not going to do an HD screen. We're just going to do a standard screen. So I want you to go into Edit on this Properties panel, which is over here. If you haven't already done so, you should go in here and click on Animator. I'm sorry, Designer. That's how I have mine set up. And you'll have your timeline at the top. It'll have a library over here and it'll say properties and tools. We'll talk about tools. Properties first. Um, you can edit the size of your stage and if you don't already have it, have the, the width be 720 and your height be 540, which is a little bit taller than the screen. Uh, but uh, the uh, pixels are actually rectangular, so they get squished when we export to video. Um, and then we want to have it at 30 frames per second. And then click OK. And you can see up here it says 30 frames per second, FPS. And it's got our stage size, and the stage color is white. So I'm going to keep that white. And the first thing we want to do is create an object. So I want you to go to Insert, New Symbol, and we want this to be a movie clip. You can change this later, but for now we can make it a movie clip so we have the potential to um, animate it. So I want to name this. I'm going to call it Backdrop. And we don't have to put any spaces in there, but we do want to capitalize Drop. All right, and then click OK. And now, you can see that we're not on the stage anymore. We're in this little area creating a scene. And I want you to go to the tools, click on that. Right now we're on the selection tool. I want to go to the rectangle tool. And I would like to make a backdrop. So I'm going to change this pencil thing here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go to this little square with a red slash and that means there's going to be no outline on my square. It's just going to be filled in. I want to change the fill color. I want to make that a nice mellow blue because I want to make this a blue sky. So I think I'm going to do that one. And then um, I can take my rectangle tool and I can draw one out like this. And it's a good idea, we'll take my selection, to just kind of line it up with this little cross in the middle. You can see that it does that. Now if I go back to properties, it says that it is, the width is 608 pixels wide and the height is 437.95. Now I want to unclick this link, which means I can change the sizes of it without it being a relative change. So if I change this one here, if it's the link is full, is if the chain is linked, I could change this to 600, and it would also change the height. We keep it relative, but I want to change this because I want this to be 720 pixels wide and 540 pixels tall. So it's the same size as my stage. So that I don't have a white stage, I'll have a blue stage when I put this object on the stage. Um, so now. I can go back to tools, click on this hand, and you can drag this into the middle of the screen so you can see it better. And I want to make a grassy area below. So I'm going to grab my rectangle tool again, and I'm going to change this to some green grass. I'm going to make this about halfway 
and I'm going to go all the way across, and there we have a horizon line. And um, we could go in here and now switch. If you click and just press it down, you can now have an oval tool. And I'm going to click this and make it white. And I'm just going to make an oval here and an oval here, an oval here, and an oval here. All right, so if I like this cloud, I can select them all, press Shift, and I can go to Edit, Copy, and uh, Paste. So now I have another cloud over here. All right, I have a nice little background. So let's go back to click this and click on Scene 1. Now we have this object in our library. You can see in our library we have one object. So I'm going to pull on this little square here next to it and bring it right to the center. And I can go back to properties and I can do the X and Y coordinates. It's already at 14 and 15. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to put in 0. And I'm going to put in 0 over here. All right. And right now we have one object on our stage, one layer. 